Hey guys, Pete Klein here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Java Rock server, aka Java X Bedrock. It allows Bedrock players to join Java servers. So let's get right into this video. So we're going to need to first go to gazermc.org and download Gazer. Gazer will, will, will change Bedrock packets into Java packets to allow them to join. We're also going to need Floodgate because it lets us know which ones are Bedrock users and which ones are Java users. Once those two are finished downloading, all we have to do is start our server. I'm currently using a 1.19.4 server. You could use 1.13.2 for Gazer MC. But you do also need um, Java 16 or higher to run it. So while we wait for this to load, I'm going uh, to show you guys about MC Xbox Broadcast. MC Xbox Broadcast makes it easier for players on consoles to join your Java server because currently the only ways to join would be changing their DNS settings, which can be quite complicated, and to use a app on their phone or other device to create a bridge connection to the server. But that's just a lot of work just to join one server, so they'll probably just not do it. Which brings in why you should use MC Xbox Broadcast. Because MC Xbox Broadcast allows you to have just a friend to connect. If I scroll down, here's an image of what it looked like. It's just an account that they can join through their friends list and they can play on your server. Currently, the Gazer extension does not have auto friend but there is a way around that where it does and there's a standalone which is a side program that you'd have to run for it to work so to install this you'll go to the releases page and click Jenkins then you're gonna click on this link now if you're fine without having friend connect for the extension you can click here, but you'd have to manually accept every single friend request. Or you can go on to, well, click MC Xbox Broadcast right here. Go over to Pull Requests, and then go to Pull Request 21. And in here, this will have Auto Friend. So I can just click on this. It brings me to this Plugins page. Well, for me saving it. It's going to go into plugins. You're going to open up Gazer Spigot folder and then open up extensions and then just save it there. Now, if you don't know if the server, well, if the pull request has been merged, best way to check would be while you're in here, you'll see this pull request. If it shows one, just click on it and you should. See number 21, fix for auto friend for Gazer extension. And yeah, it should say like open three weeks ago by pizza that codes, which is me. So with both those things, well, with all those things downloaded, we can head over to our plugins page. Now we're going to go and edit our Gazer dash spigot config. So let's open that up. And let's scroll up. So first thing, if you're using your own computer to host this, then you can set the IPs to the default and leave like all of this to default, except for like the MOTD and server name. But if you're using a server hosting like Pebblehost, Apex, and you're not using a dedicated like server for it all, you're going to need to change a few things. First thing is if you go to Bedrock, then Ports, you'll see that says 19132. That's the default Bedrock port. But if your server is not dedicated, 
you would change this to whatever the port is for your server. So if it's like 25576 or 789, 25789, whatever it is. The MOTD1 is going to be the top line. So if I just click on here, you'll see Gazer test server. That's MOTD1. And then this test is MOTD2. So you can change these to whatever. The server dash name will be what's displayed for your Bedrock clients on the pause menu screen and on the setting menu screen, which you can read about here. Now, once you've done that, there's a few things that you need to do for Java. So you go on to remote because that's the Java edition server. The address you could leave as auto, but it's usually safe to put the actual address of the server on there because people has will have had issues where it just doesn't work. And then you just change the port to whatever your port is. And um, now for this, Uh, let's see. There's the auth type, which you should probably read about and change to your liking. And yeah. But that should be everything just for, yeah. Allowing them to connect. Now, once we're in here, we're going to head to extensions, right? I need to do one thing. So I would say to stop the server, start it up. But since I don't want you guys waiting, I'm going to do slash reload. It does give you a error that um, it may cause issues with using some of your plugins, which could happen. One that I've noticed a lot is, um, what do you call it? Well, I, well, one is Floodgate, as you can see right here. The other is um, Gazer MC just doesn't load properly all the time. But just to make this quick, you can see right here, Gazer dash spigot MC Xbox broadcast, and it's asking to sign in. Use a web browser to open this page, and it's microsoft.com slash link, and enter this code to authenticate. Because you need to link a Xbox account to the server to allow its connection through. I recommend using a alt account for this, because it's technically breaking Microsoft's terms of service, and... It's like, yeah, you'd probably want to be able to use your main account still. <laughs> and so once you just sign in using that code, everything would start working. I actually forgot something, which I'm sorry about. Um, you need to go to this folder in Gazer, Spigot, Extensions, and then MC Xbox Broadcast. Because it's the config.yml. I forgot to completely go over it. So we have had some issues where remote address, having it set to auto will just not work. So you'd have to set that to your actual IP. If it works, don't need to worry about it. I would say just test it out, make sure. But um, yeah, if you want to be safe, just set that to your IP. Do the same for the port. Now, the update interval is how many times in seconds to update the session info. We can leave that at 30. There's the should Xbox friends automatically be whitelisted. We can set that to false. Now, here's the auto friend stuff. So, there's auto follow and auto unfollow. And here's the update interval. So every 20 seconds, it'll auto follow anyone who sends a friend request and auto unfollow everyone that removes them. Now, if you have auto unfollow turned on, 
you can't set this any lower due to Xbox rate limits. If this is set to false though, then you can use 10 seconds. You can always go a lot higher or lower, but depending on how long it is, that's how long they have to wait for. So, yeah. But once you've changed all that, then you can do um, Gazer Reload, and that would reload the extensions. And then it should all work. It'll give you a new code to authenticate with. Most of the time, it won't need you to authenticate multiple times. I just didn't authenticate in the first time, so it's going to ask me that a whole bunch. But um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'm sorry for not uploading that much. Just haven't really felt bothered to. But I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.